began? So Elon got into all sorts of trouble, including for me, because I called him out for this too. Because it was a pretty crazy tweet. Yeah, it was a, I mean, listen, it was a pretty crazy tweet. He's okay. going to get us into space. Why are you being mean to Elon? <laughs> Multiplanetary species, and you're being mean to him. Uh huh. So, uh -huh. Uh, so disrespectful. Right. So, um, there was a guy who basically tweeted out some take that I thought was like pretty insane and racist and not really helping the discourse whatsoever. Um, and he basically mm -hmm. said, he said, uh, you know, Jewish communities have been pushing hatred against white people. Um, and so why, since Jewish community, and he's using these broad terms, by the way, he's not saying the ADL, he's not saying some Jewish communities or some Jewish people. He said Jewish communities broadly are pushing hatred against white people. So why should I care now that Western Jews are worried about people pushing hatred against Jews. Was okay. this guy named the artist formerly known as Eric? Yes, that was the And tweet. he says, okay, Jewish communities have been pushing the exact kind of dialectical hatred against whites that they claim to want people to stop using against them. I'm deeply disinterested in giving the tiniest shit now that about Western Jewish populations coming to the disturbing realization that those hordes of minorities that support flooding their country don't exactly like them too much. Ooh, ouch. This is okay. Like, so there's a this couple horrendous. problems. There's a couple problems with this tweet. Uh, the first is obviously the broad label of like Jewish communities, like as an right. organization oh, yes. are involved yeah. in something here. Number one. Yeah. Uh, number two and, and, and if you say, and some people are saying, he's saying there's an implied not all in there, Sitch. You are actually 100% incorrect. There is no implied not all there because he's literally saying, I should not care about broad discrimination against Jews because I believe Jews were broadly discriminated against whites. Okay. So there is no not all in there implied anywhere in there. And if you're seeing that, you've made that in your head. Okay. I don't know anything about this guy, but there's nothing in there to imply that. And you should be hyper careful when you're going to make statements like this that they shouldn't be interpreted that way. And if the people are not very careful, then they can fuck off. And if you're just going to read in and give them all a cherry in the world, I think you're bending over backwards uh, for no reason. But number, okay, that's number one. Number two, obviously, this is playing into a stereotype that Jewish people are intentionally importing non white people into the country in order to docile the population because you know people that believe the jewish question believe yeah that it. like oh non-white people are stupider and jews know that they're stupider and therefore they want to import a bunch of you know non-whites in the country because they'll be easier to control because they're dumb right like that's the jewish question and this tweet whether intentional or not is 100 percent playing off of that trope okay right. when it's really to make it more accurate would be that you know, the left's view of basically believing that all people can just come into a Western country and assimilate or, you know, or just be participate in a Western democracy without assimilation, you know, is obviously not the case. And, you know, if you're Jewish and you're on the left and you're supporting just like letting a bunch of people in, you know, from every country, you know, maybe you should rethink these things. Or if you're Jewish and you're on the left and you're you know, okay with racism, open racism against white people, you know, this should be the wake up call for you, right? So there's a way to like word this tweet in a way that's not like super fucking racist or bigoted or anti-Semitic, but he didn't choose that. He didn't do that. So anyway, so he, this tweet- Look, he aimed for the most bigoted way he could say it. Yes. <laughs> yes, me. I mean, look, of this course. is horrendous. And that's done intentionally. And this goes back to kind of the video we were watching with what Tim was saying, which is that people saying things that are very offensive in bigoted ways and incendiary ways is what gets clicks. To get clicks, yeah. Because if he had said it in a more like reasonable way, like I just said, you know, it would have- No one would have responded. Yeah, like it might've got some traction. I don't know how big his account is, but it wouldn't have been as big as this. Um, Look, but, he okay. already had to change his name. He's the arm artist formerly known as Eric now, so. Okay, so anyway. So, so, so then I mean, Elon Musk replies. Yeah. You have 
said the actual truth. What the fuck, Elon? Right. So, okay. What the fuck happened here? So it's so weird because like Elon is a smart guy in some ways and he's like horrendously stupid in other ways. This is such a moronic tweet. Um, to be clear, I don't think Elon Musk is anti-Semitic. I think when he read this tweet in his mind, he interpreted it as like the ADL because he has his big dust up with the ADL, right? And other organizations who are attacking him. And so he looks at this tweet and he doesn't read the broad generalization that this guy made. He's reading like the ADL in his mind. So what he says, oh, it's actually true. Because then he then clarifies later in the chain, people are like, what the fuck are you saying? Elon? You're, you agree with the Jewish question? Is that what the fuck you're saying? You're saying that like we shouldn't care about anti-Semitism because some Jews are ra are like been promoting anti-white racism. Like that's a fucking insane position to take. And he's like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. Blah, 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 blah. Right. And he does back clarify. Pedal, back pedal, back pedal. Right. He does clarify to his credit later. But I'm sitting here like, why did he not just delete the original tweet then? Like this is so stupid because him replying to the tweet gets all the traction on it. He should have immediately, when he realized how everyone would interpret this fucking tweet, deleted his tweet and then posted his own tweet, not attached to this fucking dumb fuck guy's tweet and just said, you know, what his feelings were, right? About how the ADL has been promoting anti-white hatred, which is true. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. And now, you know, a lot of the chickens are coming home to roost for a lot of leftist ideologies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He could have totally done that and just deleted this stupid tweet, and he didn't. And it's just insane to me that he didn't delete this tweet. And now he's paying the repercussions for that because as what part of why I said it was stupid was A, not just because I knew everyone would misinterpret, you know, Elon supporting this, which obviously they would until he clarifies, but number two, because this is just the he's just served up on a fucking platter. He served up on he's had all this dust up with the ADL. And it's and he just served up on a platter with them the perfect thing that they can go around now to to advertisers and say Elon Musk is supporting the Jewish question. You shouldn't you shouldn't give advertisements on Twitter. And we're already seeing companies do that because of this insanely retarded tweet that he put out. Yeah, this is complete shooting yourself in the foot. Has he lost a lot of advertisers over this? I would be. I, I, Apple said pretty. that they were already pulling out. Elon Musk tweet advertisers. Yeah, Apple so, said they're doing it. Out. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, IBM said they're doing it. I don't know. You know, we'll see how many. Uh, Disney said they're doing it. So we'll see, you know, how many people do it. Um, Apple but, to pause advertising on X after Musk backs anti-Semitic post. Apple and Disney haul ads on X after Musk endorses right. anti-Semitic post. IBM and other brands suspending ads. It's just all this, so is saying, like, this, this is like this so is more so. Like this is insane. It, and the thing is, this isn't even like this isn't even a circumstance of someone saying something and like a bad actor has like tw like removed the context or twisted around or whatever. No, he what he said, every person would interpret it to be like, what the fuck? And then he clarified it later, but it's like, okay, well then just get rid of the original thing that everyone's going to interpret badly. That all the people that are liking your tweet there, Elon, not all people, but a lot of people liking your tweet there, Elon, are people that are promoting the fucking Jewish question. Yeah, they're literal white nationalists. Yes. So it's just like, yeah. So I don't know. So it's just, it was insane to me that he tweeted that out, even though he clear. I'm glad he clarified it, and I don't think he's anti-Semitic. It's just I don't understand. Why does he not delete the tweet? What is I is don't it? Know. Is that like some kind of Twitter etiquette? I'm I a free no speech absolutist. Clue. I can't take it back. Like it's been said, there it is. I don't know. I don't know what the philosophy is. I, don't I mean, sometimes said. deleting the tweet can seem like an admission <laughs> of guilt, but I feel the same way as you. You're basically it is an admission of guilt. You're you've you've deleted the tweet and you're saying, he, Look, I messed up. Here's what I really meant. And he did mess up though. This isn't a, this isn't Yeah, a that's what I'm saying. Right. This isn't a circumstance of people wrongly misinterpreting him. He, I would assume, misinterpreted what he responded to. Okay. Right. 
wildly misinterpreted it and said something that's fucking crazy by agreeing with it. And he should have just deleted it. He could have even taken a screenshot, deleted it and posted it and say like, this is what I'm responding to. Like if you want like full, full disclosure, I'm, I deleted my tweet because it's not, you know, I didn't, you know, read very closely the thing I was responding to or whatever. There's a million ways you can do this that I think would be appropriate. I say, okay, you know, listen, I've been on Twitter. I've, you know, read tweets and responded. And then someone's like, what the fuck are you talking about, Sitch? And I go back and I read and I go, oh, I completely misread what I was responding to. That's like a normal thing that happens, right? So here's the I'm fine to give charity for that. But. The independent Elon Musk vows thermonuclear lawsuit as advertisers flee X over anti-Semitism. Okay. So, but anyway, so, okay. So that was part one of the story. Part two of the story. Okay. That Elon Musk said um, that they were going to start banning people for using the phrase from the river to the sea. And they're going to start banning people who were using the <laughs> phrase decolonization on Twitter. Right. Okay. Which is actually pretty funny because it's kind of like a way for him to acknowledge the anti-Semitism, but also in a way that would like annoy the left, <laughs> right? So I'm like, okay, that's pretty funny, right? You know, I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. Um, and then now phase three of this is the lawsuits where he's claiming that they have evidence. I think that Media Matters or some other organization were like using fake doctored tweets or some kind of fake doctored evidence to get people to pull out advertising from Twitter, which is his accusation. Oh, okay. Interesting. So. so I brought up the tweet and I did see this and I was like, okay, well, this is pretty based. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk says, as I said earlier this week, decolonization from the river to the sea and similar euphemisms necessarily imply genocide. Clear calls for extreme violence are against our terms of service and we will result in suspension. I'm thinking, well, they're going to start suspending people for this river to the sea nonsense. Right. I mean, look, Hassan, doesn't he tweet that a lot? What's his, what's his <laughs> deal? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. It's, it's funny. Cause like, you know, a lot of people on a lot of the, the communists were very, very mad about this. Very right. mad about this. And I said, um, I tweeted, I said, commies mad that their violent dog whistles are finally being called out and examined for what they are. And uh, a lot of angry commies in my reply. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> a lot of angry commies in my replies about that. And then it was funny because. I pointed out that, um, you know, I said, friendly reminder, the commies refused to ally with the liberal countries at first and said teamed up with the Nazis to start World War II, which is true. And there's like this weird talking point, this like NPC talking point that all the, the commies have now adopted to try to argue against that, which whatever, that's a whole nother video. Maybe we'll get into that some other time, but. What do you say when you're um, done? Oh, no, but I just want to say before we end the, 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 the clip. So, but anyway, so, but when I was, you know, before Elon Musk kind of made some of his admissions or, or any of stuff, you know, I was kind of calling him out for that take. There were a lot of like fucking white nationalist accounts that were like, oh my God, Elon Musk is like totally praising the truth. He's questioning the Jews. He's one Good of on us. Him. Good on him. One of us, one of us. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, holy shit. So you know? bad. And um, and I hypocrite's one of those people. You know, he was actually attacking me for this. And he's like, "Oh no, the stereotype is true. The Jews are doing all this stuff. You know, Jews bad." And he's been on this like Jews bad, you know, tear for the last you know week or longer. So, you know, he's just gone you, full on the you know the white nationalist he? pathway. Yeah, he's gone full we, on we, the white nationalist pathway recently. So, we were on his show. I thought he was like a good guy. What happened? No. Well, he got super triggered. It was interesting because I remember seeing this and this is kind of like, I was like, what's going on here? Um, he got super triggered when Vivek uh, Ramaswamy had his tweet about how like America is not about your blood or your DNA or whatever. It's about your ideals. You know, I don't know if you remember That's this. That's the Vivek. only base thing Vivek has ever done. <laughs> yeah. Vivek got back and forth with some, I don't know who this guy is. He maybe is in some other wall, uh, white national or something about like, you know, whether you need to have some like genetic DNA founding stock in America or whether it's about, you know, adhering to the ideas of the American dream or whatever. 
And so Vivek had a very base tweet, like, you know, and being America is not about your DNA or your skin color. It's about, you know, believing in American ideals. And uh, I Hypocrite was very upset, very upset by this. And he's also uh, very upset by me saying people on the right should not, you know, adopt the Jewish question. So, 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 you, you know, I guess he's- and say, what the fuck? I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not really interested in, in hearing him give, you know, white nationalist ta- propaganda that's a good point uh, but yeah. you know he definitely has apparently gone down that path pathway so you know there you go all right anyways anyways clip it ct